Hi, David Vaughn here. Did you know that there are about 6,000 tweets posted every single second? That's a half a billion tweets posted every day. Twitter's been around since 2006 and maintains itself as a platform that we go to for bite-sized chunk information. But they don't always make it easy for us to store or recall that information when or how we want to. There's a service called Evernote and I'm here to let you know to help me organize, categorize, and recall information on any platform that you choose, including those important tweets that you want to keep. In this video, I'm going to show you the two simple steps, so hang tight. Okay, welcome back. So, before I show you how easy it is to save those tweets to Evernote, I want to make sure that you're set up with the correct tools and the tools that I'll be using and demonstrating how to do it in this video. So we're going to use Google's Chrome browser. So go ahead and open that up. And then you're going to go to the app section. And then you're going to click on the Chrome Web Store icon. That's going to take you into the Chrome Web Store. And then up here in the search area, type in Evernote. And you want the Evernote Web Clipper. And that's this item right here. Now, if you've already got this installed, then great, you're a couple of steps ahead of the game. If not, don't worry, it's really easy to install, no restarting involved. Just pause this video, and you want to make sure to install it, and then come on back. Okay, so now that you've got this installed, we're ready to start clipping those tweets you want to save. So let's open up Twitter. I'm doing a search for quotes about life, and I have found a particular quote that I want to save. Now, what you want to do is hover over the date, or if it's not a date, it's probably an hour or a minute or a second. Again, Twitter's got a lot of tweets that happen during the course of a day, but that's a clickable link that is only for that particular tweet. So once you find it, right click on it, open that in a new tab, go on over to that tab and you'll see that there's your tweet, and then you click on the Evernote Web Clipper. Now you can see that this is saving the entire area. I don't really care about these retweets or quotes. I just actually want the tweet and the actual meat or content of that tweet. So instead of doing the whole article, I'm going to click on Simplified Article. And that makes it to where all you get is exactly what you need, which is that particular tweet. Now I'm going to save this into a particular notebook that I have set up already called Twitter Swipe. It's just a notebook that I put all the tweets into and then I can sort them out later on. I'm also going to add a tag to it, and I'm going to do quotes about life. And then all you have to do is click save. You can see it's syncing and saving it up to it. And then you just want to click and go into Evernote. Now you can either go into the app that's on your desktop, you can go into the app that's on one of your devices, you can go into the Evernote web presence through a browser, whichever way you want to do it. More than likely on an app for your desktop or your device, you're going to need to sync up. And then once you do that, you'll see that your tweet's in there. This is now all searchable. You can see that my tag is in there. It's in my notebook, Twitter swipe. And if, in case I can't remember this particular uh, tweet or something about it, if I know that I'm talking about, uh, it was talking about storms and life, you can see now to highlight that if I had a whole bunch of different notes in here, it would sort them out and any note that had storm in there, it would show them up and then I can easily find what I'm looking for. So I hope this was helpful for you. Do you have any comments or questions? Make sure to leave them below. Let me know how this video worked out for you. If you got anything else that you want to know about Evernote, be happy to help that out. Just let me know in the comments as well. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want some more videos and helpful information like this. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Have a conversation.